The last couple of years have been have been very difficult, and you said there was sort of financial issues and things like that. It's been all financial issues completely, and I think that's the problem with most marriage breakdowns now in this country is finance. It's so, been very difficult, I and mean, I think it's always been very difficult for him since the business went and, and everything's gone wrong. For him to have me being the one that brings the money in is very hard, although he was always very grateful. It's still a big kick, big kick in the stomach for him, and I, I understand that. I totally understand that because he's always given us a great life, so it's been very difficult for him. And it's not like we're on, you know, Death Star or living in Benefit Street. It's like, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm, you know, my kids know mum always works and I'll, I've never let them down. Mm -hmm. And Ever. even when you, when you absolutely had to, you, you, you weren't you too proud to go No, I'm not. I think my kids come first. Yeah. I think it was a, a very much a mutual agreement, but one of us had to make the call and that, that was me. Um, I was working away, things were, were pressured anyway, and it just got to the point where I was like, There's, I can't work and have all this arguing and stuff at the same time. I'm like, this is this is not working. It's not working for me. And, you know, that the... The friendship bit, we were friends and not, not husband and wife anymore. And that's we lost the house I've always rented. Is that because you? We haven't any money. Them. We've got money to buy anything. Right. No one's got any money anymore, have they? <laughs> <laughs> there's none in jail. There's right? none. There's none anywhere, babe. Um, you have to marry a footballer if you're winning money, and I couldn't <laughs> deal with that. Oh no.